Also, apologies if you hear any background noise. I have my mini fridge that likes to turn on sometimes in the middle of filming, which is kind of like a low buzzing, but I won't really notice it, so hopefully you don't either. And my window's open because it's finally raining and nice and cool outside. Hello, and I'm not gonna bother saying welcome back to another video because I feel like that's such a lame, basic, unnecessary intro, so maybe I'll come up with something for future videos. This video, I will be talking about any remaining knee updates. I don't really have any anxiety-related things about the knees to talk about. It's basically the stuff that I didn't feel like I needed to add in for my last knee video because it was super long. If you're unaware, I have been filming every other week a video about my knees because that's a major part of my life as well as my anxiety. So the playlist and previous video will be linked in the description below, probably in the little iCard thing, whatever side that's on, and at the end of the video because whatever's convenient for you. So my last knee video was much more in depth about the kind of process after my last operation up until this point, but now I'm focusing more kind of on the events that got my knees to the condition they're in now. This will be my final knee update on my knee journey series because it's the last thing I kind of have to talk about related to that. So, so basically, since my operations, I guess it would be like my last operation, even though it's affecting my left knee. Uh, my left kneecap has loosened up a bit, unfortunately, because, um, you know, operations were to hold it in place so it wouldn't move out to the side when I straighten my leg, but that's still happens now, however it is to a lesser extent than it had been previously, so like it's still good, it's still holding up, like they haven't dislocated. Like sometimes it's worse than other times, which is really weird, like it just decides to correct itself all of a sudden after loosening up for a few days and it's uncomfortable to walk on. It's kind of, it's like the similar feeling, plus I'm afraid it'll do something, but I feel like now since it's kind of been on and off for so long that I realize that nothing's happened yet, so like I should be okay. Nothing will dislocate, hopefully. My right knee seems to f be fine though, which isn't super unusual because my left one's had more balance, but my right one's stronger. Mostly some cracking. Sometimes it does a little twitch thing where like it wants to dislocate, but like it's not gonna. Also, I did try for a period of time, I don't know when this was, maybe like April, yoga because I wanted to do something with my knees and I kind of really did want to try yoga now that I was more physically able to, but I feel like maybe I was just going too hard or my knees weren't used to it or something, but my left knee, it seems like any time I would do that for like a day or two, like it would decide to become looser. Like I get that I'm stretching the muscles, so like maybe it doesn't want to be stretched anymore. Same with like Just Dance, which is like the lamest like little Wii game thing ever where like you try to imitate the thing on screen and it's the most embarrassing thing to watch ever and I felt like I was getting some like actual physical activity in. My knees were also cracking. As the kneecap would move out, I could feel it cracking which is gross. It's not like unusual, like it happened before, but then there came a time when it was cracking with pain, which hadn't happened before. And I'm talking about my left knee because, you know, that's the one that causes me all the problems, usually. I think this was like May, probably. And it was, of course, something happened on the day when I decided that I was going to go with my friends and like take the bus to the university, like from school, high school, to the university because we had a lecture for psychology there. So I was going to take the bus instead of having my aunt leave early from work to come pick me up because it's like, why? Like, I'm independent enough, like, I can walk, so I might as well. And then it was like an hour before we were gonna leave. Like, all of a sudden, I don't- I wasn't even doing anything like crazy or like strenuous. I was just like walking up to a table to grab my art piece and I felt like something move like in my knee, like a drop almost, like something unhooked itself or I, I have no idea like I feel like now my knee is still intact so like I don't think anything from the operation necessarily moved but like I took a step and I kind of like felt a crunch in my knee and I'm like oh that's disgusting but it hurt too and I had just you know tried to pretend it's fine so the for a minute like oh whatever but then I walked back over to my desk and I'm like oh crap I felt it move out a lot more than it had before and it just felt a lot looser so I ended up asking my aunt to come get me after all uh, but it kind of fixed itself within a few days however I was supposed to see my surgeon 
so I did that but I didn't mention the fact that it was painful when it cracked I don't know why like I just kind of pushed it to the back of my mind as if like it wasn't a big deal even though that was literally the whole reason that I went there like I always say oh it's different this time separate times that my knee would move out because it felt more intense although I don't feel like it was ever really that much different or more extreme than before I just wanted it to be validated in my mind and then I got out of there and I was like really mad at myself for not saying anything and I didn't even know why. Like it didn't feel like an anxiety thing, I just did not say anything. But like it seems to be fine now, it hasn't hurt like that since then. And if it does, like it's just a little bit and then I kind of walk it out and like it's fine. As of now, I would say I can stand a solid 30 minutes without feeling too weak. Or but when I was working on a painting at school, a mural, I had to stand up because I was like painting on the wall. And I could go for like a good six hour day as long as I would take breaks in between. If you want to see the mural, I thought about including it in other videos, but I just ended up cutting those parts out. Um, I will include the picture of the mural at the end of the video if you want to see it. I worked on it with two other people. I also have it on my art Instagram, which I will also link below if you want to check that out too. I wouldn't say my art's fabulous and I'm not trying to just advertise everything throughout this whole video. I don't know what's going on, I'm sorry, but it's there if you want to check it out. Now that I'm done my operations, I feel like I don't need to do physio, even though I should, to build more muscle. Some form of exercise is a good idea. I have been trying to go for more daily walks this summer, or at least that's my goal, is to walk more and stand more, even when I don't really need to, just to keep me active. Honestly, that's pretty much it. Unrelated to this topic, however, I would really like some suggestions for videos on OCPD, or like, obsessive thinking, or whatever. Whatever you want to see because I know it's been requested a few times on some of my other videos. As for now, it's just every Friday gonna be something about anxiety or mental health. I do also want to talk about some depression that I've been having lately and tips with that, so that's likely my next video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. I would be happy to answer or clarify things. See you later. Bye!